do you get that emotion out of that image or into your image? I don't know. Um, it's I'm a very intuitive shooter. Um, I, I respond to things that I see. I could never be a studio photographer because I don't think I have the imagination for it. Now, I write, and I, I write non-fiction. I write about food, wine, travel. Mm -hmm. um, I've written, I'm just finishing my fifth book. But I could never write fiction because I don't have the imagination for fiction. And photography is very similar. Studio photography is like fiction. Yeah. You're creating the image. And I really have a hard time doing that but I'm very good at recognizing it when I see it. Minor White wrote about this very eloquently, and I paraphrase it fairly simply. He, he lightened his mind to a blank sheet of film and let the image impress itself on his mind. Mm -hmm. And that is really how I like to work. I, I wander around waiting for something to make an impression on me. And as I said earlier, the camera can get in the way of that. Right. If you know your camera, and you know it's everything is set on it correctly, you bring it up your eye and capture it. Um, the more simply you do that, the better the photograph tends to be. What are some of the emotions that you've hit as a photographer? Total despair. <laughs> you know, like, like the geographic experience with the three cameras running out of film. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the most memorable shot sometimes are the ones you missed. When that happens, too often. You know, often driving, living here in Marin, I often drive into the city, across the Golden Gate Bridge, and the light is often absolutely incredible, and you can't stop and shoot because you're on the freeway yeah. going across the bridge, and you just have to let those shots go. But that's, you know, I, I always regret the shots that I miss like that, and they happen a lot, because I'm always looking for images. It's my life. You know, I, I live photography, as I think any any photographer surviving in the profession today has to. Yeah. You, you don't do it for the money. You, you do it because you love it. And uh, you have to eat and breathe photography. So I'm always looking at, looking at everything as a potential photograph. Bob, thanks for inviting us and for giving us an inside look into your world of photography. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guest's website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.